scientists have determined the DNA sequence of the whole human genome. In this diagram, you can see all 23 pairs of chromosomes found in the human body. You can see that within the pair, one chromosome is inherited from the mother and the other from the father. You should be able to discuss the importance of understanding the human genome in the exam. So, why is it useful to study the human genome? Studying the human genome has great importance for the future of medicine. We can search for genes linked to different types of diseases. For example, if we have a particular type of cancer, we might be able to search for the alleles, mutations or flaws in the DNA that are responsible and then work towards prevention. What else? We can better understand inherited differences and treat disorders. Polydactyly is a type of limb difference where some people may be born with extra fingers or toes. Cystic fibrosis is also an inherited disorder of the lungs where the airways are blocked by sticky mucus. You should recognise both of these inherited traits in the exam. What else? We can trace human migration patterns from the past. This image shows a simplified map of the early migration patterns of the human species. Humans came from the African continent over 300,000 years ago. They then moved to the Middle East, to Oceania, Europe and Asia. And finally, they made the move to North and South America around 12 to 20,000 years ago. You don't need to recall these patterns of migration in the exams, but you should be able to recall how studying the human genome can help us trace human migration patterns like this, as well as to understand, study and treat disease. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there!